Hey, this is Graham and I am here in my garage today. I'm here in my garage with this Ford Mustang. Um, and I just got a new mod in the mail. As you can see, there's a box on the ground right there. And it is also very beautiful and very snowy out today. So, so it's a good day to be working on the garage, uh, working in the garage on the car. Um, now, what what this box here is is a strut tower brace for the underside of the hood. It connects the um, the two struts to each other, and I figured I'd do a little vlog and um, and show you guys kind of how you install it and what it looks like afterwards. So this is going to be pretty much my first modification that I'm doing myself. We had the springs and exhaust put on by a shop um, because springs are, are very difficult to do by yourself, especially if you don't have a compressor. So I guess we'll get to work. It's, it's nice and nice and snowy. The poor Ford Focus is sitting out in the cold while the, while the Stang and the, and the S4 get the uh, garage. But, um, but yeah, it's, it's very cold, but I figured we'd just go ahead and uh, have a little fun and I'd show you guys kind of how to install this thing so without further ado let's get started. Okay guys so step one take it out of the box and uh, this is what you got. It is extremely pretty. I went with the uh, with the SR strut brace. It is uh, the chrome strut brace. Uh, the black one that American Muscle had was out of stock and will be for a long time so I decided I'd go with this one um, as you can see it is the one that covers all four bolts on the uh, on the struts and there's the beautiful 3.7 V6 I'm sorry the engine bay is really dirty right now I haven't uh, cleaned it in a while because it's been so cold outside all I can do is really wash the car and then I'm done but yeah, so here's the here's the strut tire brace. It's very, very shiny, very pretty. I'm very excited about this. So uh, I guess I guess we'll uh, go ahead and get started, get it installed. So let's do this thing. All right, guys, time for a test fit before I start unscrewing everything. So it's gonna go on just fine. Uh, make sure it's it's kind of at a uh, it's kind of at like this sort of an angle. So make sure that you have it facing back like it's supposed to be, and not this way. Because you, I mean, you'll be able to tell that it's wrong because that plate in the center there will be facing like straight up. But but uh, make sure that you get it the right way around so that it fits good, looks good. I will go ahead and take everything and start unscrewing these bolts. All right guys, uh, so before I go ahead and put the thing on, I'm just gonna clean up the strut towers real quick, just to make sure I'm not, you know, dropping this thing down onto a dirty surface. Just wanna make, make sure I can get a nice fitment and everything. I must say though, this has been a very simple install and, and this is certainly something that anybody could do very easily to improve their own car. It should help with the rigidity of the uh, of the front end, prevent all the body flex. Um, so I'm excited. Um, 
but we'll go ahead and get the uh, strut put on. All right, everybody. It is time. Let's get this puppy locked down. So, included in the box is a set of eight washers. Once you have the strut brace put on there, you're going to want to put these over the top of the screws, not underneath it, on top of it. That's to make sure that the, uh, the screws are nice and tight and in position properly. Once you actually uh, screw down the, the brace. And last step is just to uh, tighten down all the bolts. So, time to do it. All right, guys, well, that was how to install a strut tower brace on a 2013 Mustang. I hope you all enjoyed watching. It was a lot of fun to do that. It's the first uh, first real kind of custom work I've done on my own car. Um, like I said, I had the shop install the, uh, the springs and the exhaust, but now I have done a project on my own, and it was a whole lot of fun. Um, I'll give you guys one more view of it before we uh, before we finish up. Check this puppy out. I'm sorry that the lighting's not all that great, guys. It's pretty dark in here now. The uh, sun set on me pretty quick, but um, it looks great. Um, and there will be there will certainly be a review of it to come. So thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, please like and subscribe, and I will see you all next time. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.